changes were outlined by the FDA in an article published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The new policy would keep in place the current vaccine approval process for people 65 and older and then younger people with conditions that put them at higher risk for serious complications or death. Those specific conditions have been identified by the CDC. They include obesity, heart disease, and cancer, among many others. However, for everyone else, including children, vaccine manufacturers will be required to conduct new large-scale placebo-controlled clinical trials in order to get approval. Now, this is a major change from the current approach under which the COVID vaccines have been recommended for those aged six months and older. Obviously, over the next couple of months, we'll start to get a better understanding of the impacts that this change might have. And it's certainly something that we'll be keeping a close eye on.